performance eh, na nanalo sa kanilang opening game sa UAP Season 18 itong Sabado. Malaki pa rin ang expectations para sa Adamson Falcons ngayong taon. May mga big additions kasi sa lineup ng Falcons plus lalo pang nahinog ang ilan sa kanilang key players from last season. Here with us to talk about their season is Falcons head coach Franz Maren at mga players niya. Si Jeric Amisi, Terrence Mustre, Kurt Lohera at Keith Zaldivar. Adamson Falcons, good evening. Welcome to the score. Good evening, TJ. Thanks, Coach, for joining us. Alam ko, mabagyo, maulan, mabaha, but thank you. Ha. Appreciate the time for you guys coming over. Okay, Coach, uh, I know it's not how you you would want to start the season, but uh, you know, let's talk about how you prepared for the season first and foremost. Um, surprising everybody, we're making the Final Four last year. Um, what did you want to build from that, from that experience with a team that, as you would say before, hindi pa tayo yung talagang binubuo ninyo kasi had some recruits coming in, yes. and yet you made it that far. How did you build from that momentum? Well, uh, well, actually, like what I mentioned in, during the press conference, um, it's going to be hard for us, as mm -hmm. we all know. Uh, we're the considered as a uh, you know uh, favorite team also to make it to the uh, playoffs. Right. And of course, uh, the teams now will be really preparing for us. Right. Probably yeah. um, mm -hmm. we surprised them last season. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, after last uh, season's uh, championship, I guess everybody started beeping up their own uh, prospective schools. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of preparing, Jarek, you're one of those guys that you surprised a lot of people last year uh, in the first round. And did you feel it in the second round that some somehow defenses were different on you now and then maybe even this year, considering how well you guys did last year? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the way I played last year, I think. It caught a lot of people's eye. Mm -hmm. So coming out this season and coming out the second round last year, uh, I think teams are going to be playing me more tougher. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, I just got to adjust to that. Okay. Terrence uh, is one of the veteran guards, and uh, you've, you've been part of, of course, LaSalle before, and you've seen what it takes to make it to the Final Four now. now what, what do you think the team learned this last season that <coughs> you're coming into the season to want to bring it to an even higher level? Um, I think we're just going to have to work hard as a team, mm -hmm. uh, be in one page, and uh, we're going to be more competitive mm -hmm. than last year. So people will be more uh, be excited for us coming into this season and we'll basically more, uh, surprise more people. All right. Well, speaking of surprises, one of the newest faces, Kurt, uh, over there, you had a good game the first time around, although it was a loss to Ateneo. Uh, for you, what's it like? I, I know you served your one-year residency. You couldn't wait to get in. But now that you're a part of Adamson, in, in, the, in a year that there's more expectations on the team as compared to last year, how does it feel for you trying to contribute what you can on the team? Um, I mean, I just do what I can to just contribute what Coach Franz always tell me to do mm -hmm. and just try to do my best to execute. Mm -hmm. so. How did you feel in that first game? Uh, normally, coming first game, in, sometimes there's jitters, yeah. but what was it like for you? Yeah, coming out of the tunnel, I was I just embraced it. Mm -hmm. and it it happened so fast because, like, last year we were just talking about it, on, right. like, being on Team B. Mm -hmm. and, like, it just came around so fast that it just, it was surprising. Mm -hmm. And just just grasp it and just try to play my game, you know. All right. Chiquita, so man, uh, I know we didn't have, you guys didn't have Papi Sar in the first game, so all the more, just much more pressure on you as the big man uh, going up against Ike and all that. But uh, sometimes you can learn from a loss. No? So anong natutunan nyo? What did you feel that you learned that you can pick up you know, as the season will progress for you guys? Yeah, uh, sabi nga ni Coach, uh, kailangan pa namin mag-improve mm -hmm. sa leagues kasi malaki yung rebounds eh. Mm -hmm. Yung binigay ng import nila. Mm -hmm. Kaya kailangan namin mag-step up. Right, that's one thing. Right. Coach, I want to bring that back to you. Actually, napuna ko yun. I looked at the, the average stats from last year. Uh, as good as you were last year, you were actually last in rebounds, right? Yes. Um, how did you plan to address that? Um, I mean, you already had Papi last year. He was averaging 14 rebounds a game. And yet, hit up as a team. How much yung effort need to try to fix that and still make it better? Well, if you look at our um, current roster right now, mm -hmm. uh, we brought in some big guys. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, these big guys can really... Uh, fill up those uh, rebounds. Mm -hmm. uh, well, unfortunately, during our first game, I think um, Ike really made a uh, you know, uh, great game yep, for him. Yep. And I think they made some sort of a record during um, that particular game mm -hmm. in terms of rebounds. Terms but, of rebounds, um, yeah. you know, we'll try to address that uh, vacuum. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, you know, we're going to be a much better rebounding team. Okay. Uh, you want to let some of the fans know that what's the status of Papi? Is he going to be playing soon? Ano pa bang, uh, well, um, we're just going to um, probably see what mm -hmm. he's capable of doing. Mm -hmm. But um, he's slowly, uh, um, I think, 
uh, he will recover mm -hmm. probably in time for uh, maybe not this coming Saturday. Probably okay. by next week he'll mm -hmm. be 100% already. Okay. Uh, Derek, what's that like? Um, there was, you know, time out for Papi and some other guys were injured as well. How did that kind of affect the momentum of the preparations leading into the UAP? And uh, how did you guys adjust to that as a team? Well, um, coming into the game without Papi, it was really tough because mm -hmm. he's our emperor, obviously. But uh, coach just told us to everybody to step up and we all had to come together as a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think even though Papi was out, um, that we really just had to focus and show everybody that we could play without Papi. You know, so. Right. Terrence, we know that um, most, if not all, teams now are really pressing so much and all the more just much more load on you guys as guards, offensively, <coughs> defensively. Come on, say, yung, being part of that, from the guard rotation, you have Jerry, you have Manalang as well. What's it like to be, you know, taking that load of, you know, so much running and defending and bringing up the ball? Um, so practice, naman, coach pushes out so, so hard. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's not really tiring for us during the games because he prepares us for practices mm -hmm. and uh, the games also. So I think uh, we're loaded for guards because the rotation will be so quick mm -hmm. and everyone's ready to play. So mm -hmm. you know. Coach, there's one guy we wanted to ask you about. Uh, we, we wish we, he was here, but he's not. See, Tyro still ex excited a lot of the fans. Uh, um, when they finally saw I remember you talked about him last year pa lang. Yeah. When he was serving his residency, you told us he was such an amazing athlete. And we saw some of it. Mm -hmm. um, how excited are you for Tyrus and what he can contribute to your team? Well, uh, I've been coaching college for the longest time. I think um, he's the first athlete that I mm -hmm. handled that, you know, is oozing with the uh, athleticism. Mm -hmm. um, he just have to really learn the game. Um, mm -hmm. He's one athlete that you don't have to tell him, you know, to be aggressive or mm -hmm. to to really, uh, you know, to get those rebounds and everything. Right, it's right. just innate on his part. But mm -hmm. um, you know, he gives us different dimension. He mm -hmm. can guard the big guy, he can guard right. the small guy, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, there's really a lot of um, upside for mm -hmm. this guy. Parang boom and I were saying we've never imagined seen a team you've handled with an athlete like that of yes. that size and length. Mm. I, I used to remember myself when I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe the shortness of the shorts, coach, because those are pretty darn short shorts. I know, I know. It's, it's a good thing you had those compression pants on. But anyway, I guess, coach, um, your message sent up to the Adamson community. Um, they embraced you with open arms last year. Had a great run last year, but now more expectations, I guess, more mm -hmm. excitement for them to, you know, for you guys to make it back to the final four and possibly more. Anong masasabi mo sa kanila? Well, uh, well first of all, um, uh, I guess, uh, coming to this season, I mentioned to the players already, you know, pressure is going to be different now mm -hmm. because yeah. uh, first time we're under the microscope. Mm -hmm. And of course, the game against uh, At Ateneo, uh, my, my simple analogy is just like the weather right now. Mm -hmm. It's just a small pothole along the way. Okay. And it's, you know, it's going to be a learning process for us. Mm -hmm. I, I guess um, we were kind of G3. Mm -hmm. We were not the usual uh, Adamson that uh, we were expecting. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, hopefully this coming game, this Saturday, will be a different mm -hmm. uh, Adamson. The real Adamson will show up right, this there Saturday. You go. Nangako na si Coach Franz mm -hmm. The real Adamson will show up against USD yes. this Saturday. So, good luck. We can't wait to see you guys back on the court. And we know you're going to have a great season. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.